Hi! Ew. It's been forever since I made my last video. We just had a snow here on Monday in the middle of a desert. And when I woke up Monday morning, I was like, wow. Where am I? <laughs> but today I think it's a good time to make a video again because my eyes turn out to be uneven on each side. But I think it's a good time to do some makeup and hide the flaw of my face. I recently discovered a new brand on Amazon. I bought like three lipstick from their website. Uh, actually this one is from Amazon, this one doesn't count. This two is the lipstick from ZC and this one is a uh, lipstick from... How do you call that in English? Anyway, what's amazing is I love their packaging. I haven't seen any lipstick or a makeup brand make their packaging so gorgeous. Look at this. This is actually like a lipstick and the packaging has this painting of Picasso. If you look inside, it has engraved like a brand logo. Further down, is that Picasso? I'm not sure. I'm not very good at reading cursive, but I'm just like totally sucker for their packaging. This painting is called Mary Sitting, Sitting Mary. That's what this painting's for. <laughs> I think it's really creative. They actually uh, named the lipstick um, based on the painting. This is the shade number 918. Another one they have here is a different painting. Name of this same paint is let me let me look it up. Last the moistless the avid last the moistless avigon. I'm so sorry. For those who can pronounce this, please forgive me. I don't know what I'm reading. That's basically the name of this painting. I think this is more like a mauve, more like subtle, subtle red. I'm gonna do some swatches. Oh, that melted like right away. And the other one, Sitting Mary, a lot more vibrant red color, bloody red. Excuse my nails. This is Sitting Mary and this is... Uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. And both of these are from the same brand called ZZ. I just totally love in their packaging. They do have a lot more other colors in the collection. I just picked the one as like has really appealing packaging to me and the color. This is another brand called Luo Zi in Chinese, but um, looks like this. Look at that, so cute, so pretty. So this is in the shade 51510. If I open this up, you can see the brand name over here. Compared to the other two, this is like more like matte, and the other two are like more reflective and vibrant. Totally in love with this packaging. These are all the three lipsticks I bought from the Amazon website. The next one's coming up. Oh my god. Ta da This is also a lipstick. It has a character meaning dragon. And underneath... I don't know if I will use it. This is too much of piece of art to be... So this lipstick comes in the packaging like this. So I don't know if this is a collection that comes in the Celebrate Chinese New Year. And it's like magnetic opening. Inside, take a look. This is a piece of art. He actually has a dragon engraved. Like what? Like what the hell? Seriously? Why would anybody want to use that? Total, they only have like three shades and I got this one, uh, M number five. This is like the least vibrant red shade. And they only have three shades and they're all red. Like three different shades of red. So I picked the least one, but honestly, I bought this lipstick just for the packaging. They will just be on top of my counter, and I just look at it every day. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick swatching of this color. Okay, I don't want to destroy it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is what the color looks like. This shade is more of a berry, I guess, more like subtle red. One last thing I want to show you is their foundation. Yes, it comes in the same packaging. So open the packaging looks the same, except this time the character means showing Phoenix. And inside is ta-da! So this is actually their liquid foundation. I think it came in the same collection with the lipstick. I guess it's a celebration of Chinese New Year. I honestly don't know when did it came out, but I recently just discovered and I'm totally sold 
for their packaging. It's a foundation actually comes in as a pump. So I feel like it comes like a pump inside. And look at this beautiful bird. Honestly, I think it looks more like a um, peacock than a phoenix. <laughs> like it's just like a perfect makeup item to be put on this Play. It should be the top of your vanity. You look at it every day and feeling like you're like a princess or a queen or empress. Anyway, my goal today is actually put this into use and see how I feel about their quality on top of the packaging. One last thing, one last thing I want to show you is this. It's an actual eyeshadow palette. The name's called Alice Adventure in Wonderland. Look at this packaging like what? I try to avoid the reflection, but you see what I mean. <laughs> And inside the palette looks like this. They have a three different palette with this type of in this collection, and I just picked the one that's like the red tone. I think they have like a blue tone and a pink tone, and this is a red one. I personally um, have a lot of pink tone already, and I'm kind of I don't look good with blue, so I picked this red one. I really liked how they display in the palette. They do actually have like a press glitter inside it looks like that reminds me of the glitter gel from ColourPop and the swatch out like this probably it's not for the eyelid because you don't want the such thing because you don't want something like this to be in your eyes like uh-uh it's definitely something like you put on your face or body and there's another shade here looks more like a glitter pressed glitter also wow actually it feels soft it's like a super shot eyeshadow not like a powder formula, it's more like a gel. It feels super much similar to the ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow. Uh, it can be used as a inner corner highlight or glitters on top of the lid. It's gonna be super pretty. I'm kind of interested in this shade too because it's like a mixture of different colors. But that shade looks like this, like a dual chrome. It has red, a little bit of a vibrant light reflection. I'm running out of words to describe it. I'm not good at describing. But anyway, this palette retails for I think $35. Oh, it has like form on the top. You can like remove it. What? Oh, so pretty. I can play this all day. Thirty-five or thirty-six dollars on Amazon. And this palette comes with a brush inside. I'm not sure. It feels pretty soft. I wanna do a quick eyeshadow look using this palette. It's been a long time since I makeup videos I'm not like really really dying for eyeshadow today I woke up with my eyes uneven and it really drives me crazy I almost caught off from, from making videos because I, it really bothers me when I see that my eyes are not even on both sides and I think it has to do with the position I sleep I always tend to like sleep on one side and uh, the other side just I feel like it's been like more neglected yeah I actually think my face is not even too so I'm gonna use the, my old time favorite and everybody's favorite is the Tasha primer. I'm gonna use this to prime my eyes. Why not? And with this amazing mirror from the palette. I don't know if the face primer works the same for like eye primers, but sometimes I like interchange, I use them for both. I'm gonna prime my face as well at the same time. Pretty much good. I just put a little bit on my forehead. My forehead always tend to get like super greasy, so I don't like to put like foundation or primer on this too much. I did my brows like a little bit this morning, so I'm gonna avoid touching the brow area. I'm actually not gonna use this brush in the palette because I somehow feel like I wanna use my own brushes. Since I don't have shade names, I'm just gonna point, dive into this. A uh, little pink shade over here, base and crease color. It's like a super huge fluffy brush. I don't want to have like, too big of a pink eye. Looks okay like this. I just got my first vaccine like last week, and it took me a long time to like decide whether I want to do it. What's the worst can happen? I got COVID too. So I got my first vaccine from the brand called Moderna. There are a total of two doses, 28 days apart. I just got my first shot last 
Tuesday. So far, I've been feeling fine, honestly. The worst I had is probably the first day when I had the vaccine. Feel a little bit of chill and it's super, super sleepy. Oh, by the way, I dip into this lighter shade here just to blend out the edges of the crease real quick. My vaccine appointment is like 7 a.m. I woke up early, I went to the hospital and got a shot. Came back and immediately I fall back to sleep. Later in the day, and I went out to have lunch with my friends and we went to a restaurant. Literally nobody's there. So, and I started feeling this little bit of chill. It's kind of similar to like fever chill, but not like fever. I was told to like check temperature, but I didn't check my temperature. I guess I'm just too like distracted with other things or that the chillness just didn't really bother me that much for me to actually check the temperature. So I came back from lunch and immediately fall, fall asleep again, knocked out, like I'm drunk. I, I didn't even drink, I don't drink alcohol, so I definitely did not drink it for that lunch. I don't know if that's the food or it's the vaccine. That put me to sleep for like two or three hours. But yeah, that's the most that happened to me after the first dose of the vaccine. I just went back to this uh, pink shade, add a little more to the inner half of my lid. I want to dip into this shade, red and vibrant shade. I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh, it's actually, it's actually moist. It's wet. I dip a little bit of this shade and I'm gonna put that on the middle of my eyelid. Oh. Wow, I think I put a little too much. That really show immediately. And on this side, the same thing. Wow. So as far as I know, after the first day of having a vaccine, I haven't been having like any other reactions afterwards. It's just my arm gets a little sore from like injection side, but that's but that's the same with all the vaccines out there. Other than that, I've been feel, feeling fine. I'm a little worried because um, it's the second dose. I heard most people have reactions from a lot of my coworkers and they're having like actual fever and chill. Just really a lot of uh, strong flu-like symptoms after they have the second dose. So I'm partially like preparing myself for it. My second dose is like a month from now or three weeks from now, I think. By the way, I'm dipping this uh, into this coffee brown shade and uh, put this on the outer corner of my eyes. But fortunately, I heard is that the symptoms goes away. Mostly lasting or one or two days and the symptom will go away and you feel like totally fine again. So yeah, I'm ready for the second one. I think it's pretty cute. Can you see it? I'm just like very like vaguely smudging this on my outer corner. I'm going to this pink shade and uh, and adding a little bit of this uh, blending shade. It's almost like a skin color. <laughs> Blending out this pinkish shade a little bit more. So and then I'm using this flat brush that dip back into this brown shade just to deepen out like intense the outer corner. I'm still very impressed with the shimmer they have. I actually thought those are all like powder and dry powder. I didn't expect they actually came in with like moisture, like how do you say moisture? It's like a gel type of formula instead of powder. It's not powder, it's, it's wet. It has like grease in there. I'm going back to this shade right here and just to using my finger to intensify the color on my lids a little more. So far I really like how this look turned out. I'm gonna do something I may regret later, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use a very tiny pointy brush and dip into this <laughs> black shade over here. If you look closely, it has a little bit of like purple-ish, dark blue reflective. It's like sparkly mixed with matte. It really darkens, like deepens my outer corner. I'm going back to this more fluffy brush and dip into this brown shade a little more and I'm just going back and forth. Dip into this like bright shimmer shade right here and put that on my lower lash line but closer to the inner corner. And I have a feeling this is gonna be intense. Inner corner, just a little tap. The glitters in here are actually really huge. Things okay. I'm happy with it. I forgot my eyeliners. Let me go grab it and I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm gonna use this eyeliner from ColourPop. Favorite and that's like the only eyeliner I use. So <laughs> this color is like even lighter than eyeshadow. I don't know why I do that. Okay. I can't get over it. I just can't get over it. I forgot my mascara. I'll be right back. My computer keeps turning off. Oh shit. Almost dropped this one. <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna curve my lashes real quick and apply some mascara. I feel like this eyeshadow could be like look really pretty with falsies. 
with some lashes for those of you who has more beautiful eyes and who has better skills than me on pulling eyelashes and mascara I'm gonna use is from Laura Geller uh, nothing new very simple common nothing fancy but I mean Laura Geller is a good brand but like nothing new that's the best I can get I'm, I'm happy with it that's the best I can do for my lashes anyway as moving on to the face area I can't wait to use this foundation and there's actually a pump here it feels really smooth I'm gonna use like tiny little sponge oh my god I have a feeling this is gonna be too light I don't know well it actually smells good it smells like perfume but not too strong yeah I can say it's a little bit light for my skin maybe a little too light for my skin I don't know but it blends out pretty easily mostly okay once it's blending away you can't even tell like I'm wearing foundation except the fact that the shade is like a little lighter than my skin so my face is lighter than my nose and my forehead but it's like it's not too obvious is it I'm just gonna add like a little bit for the forehead I feel like this is a foundation made for like Asian girls Asian beauty and Korean beauty uh, they tend to go with natural no makeup makeup look and this foundation like totally made my face look like that probably made my skin a little brighter but it doesn't look like I'm wearing too much I still have the bump right here I still have like some minor pimples that you can look closely so it doesn't look like you're wearing like a lot of foundation because you can still see the flaws on the skin but at the same time they only show if you look closely so that is the foundation there's one more thing from the brand name ZC this is a blush I bought from the website and I went with the shade called number three it's more like a pinkish uh, mauve settle redness like settle pink it's not too intense if you open it has a mirror inside i only bought this one color because there's something that suits me and this color is more like natural not too pink not too red mauve and settle cinnamon tone and blah, blah, blah. so if you look closely it has minor glitters i don't know if it shows on camera overall i don't think it's gonna show off on the face that much i'm gonna use this brush from bh cosmetic and i have bought like a long time ago I'll dip into this bra bleh, blush and gently tap it on my face. Ooh, it is showing up. I'll leave it like that. Can you see the difference? Yeah, it's a very, very subtle blush. I didn't buy any bronzer from them. I don't think they have a bronzer. Do they have a bronzer? I don't remember. So I'm just gonna skip the bronzer for today. I'm gonna be subtle with the blushes and I'll skip highlighter too because. They actually do have a highlighter in the website. I think it's already sold out. It's no longer available on the website, so I'm not even gonna like think twice about it. And last thing I'm gonna move on is the lipstick. I haven't used any of those on my own yet. There's two shades. I think I'm gonna go for like the more subtle shade right here. There's the one. Would that be too red? Too red for this look I did today. I'll see how it looks on the lips. Yeah, that's definitely way too red for me. <laughs> More intense than I usually will wear. <laughs> Super bright and orange tone. Honestly, when I bought it, when I bought this shade and I was like, I knew most likely I'm not gonna wear it. I just really like the packaging, so. I'm gonna wipe this out real quick and I'll try the next shade. The one I just tried is in the shade 918. And next shade I'm gonna try is the shade 923. It's more subtle over red it's more like mauve let's just go ahead and try it yeah this is a lot more subtle it still have this orange undertone but not as bright as the other one yeah this is definitely more of my shade and it fits my eye look better oh i forgot about this one let's try this one shade number five i think i already have a feeling it's gonna be like super bright red glorious beautiful gorgeous piece of art Yeah, this one is red but a lot more subtle. Compared to the other two, this one doesn't have that strong of an orange undertone. It's matte but it's not dry. Very sweet type of red, like strawberry type. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one last lips lipstick that I bought. So this is in the shade 510. This is from different brand. Also cute but a different style. This is not a Picasso painting. It's just like regular traditional Chinese 
painting. And the color looks like this with their logo on top of it. It's the last one I'm gonna try, I swear. Wow, this one feels a lot more creamy than the other ones I tried. It feels like you're applying butter. You can tell I tend to go to the same type of red shade for lipsticks. <laughs> very, very minor difference compared to the other two. So this is the shade 510. So this will complete the look I made for today. Basically, first thought for the brand that I recently discovered on um, Amazon and internet. I bought most of their product on the website, on their uh, official website, but uh, most of their products available on Amazon. So um, a few dollars more expensive or like one, a dollar more expensive. But Amazon does give like a prime, like free two day shipping. But if you buy from the website, it could take actually longer. For me, I wait for a whole week. But besides that, I have no complaints for this brand. I, I really, 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 really loving and dying for this packaging. It's more like a collaboration with the museum art. They have a whole collection of lipsticks. It's all correlated with Picasso paintings. This eyeshadow palette, it's also like, I can see it's a collaboration between ZC and the British Museum. And lastly, I think I want to play a little bit with this uh, press glitter. I probably put some of this in like my inner corner or something. I just don't have like a proper tool to apply for glitters. I'll do this tiny little brush from Morphe. I don't know how people do this, but this is going to be very difficult. I wish there's like a special tool to apply pressed huge glitters on the eyes because I really like this shade but it definitely can be easily handled by regular brush because I, I, I can't even pick it up I actually have to use my finger dip in and randomly apply like around my eyes so I think it's really cute so yeah that completes this video and if you like my video please give a thumb up button I should like manage my schedule better and make videos more often <laughs> see you I really enjoy like playing with makeup like this hopefully I'll see you soon in my next video